Thomas Rosie, I take her through my personal leg workout. So we're ready to get started. Great. Right. Yeah. Ready? All right. <laughs> okay, we're starting off here with the leg extension. Now this is excellent for warming up the knee area and tightening and toning the quadriceps of the thighs. What I like to do here, Rosie, is I keep my back firm against the pad. Knee should be at the end of the bench. Using a variety of different foot positions. I do the first set with my feet forward. Good job. I use a lighter weight on the first set. Mm -hmm. And then do higher repetitions to warm up. Oh, that's a good fun. idea. It's always better to warm up instead of jumping right into an exercise. So I'll go a lighter weight. How many Fif do you usually do? Um, warm up set, I'll go 15 to 20 reps. Oh. So that's uh, 10, 11, 12. You really feel Excellent. it Excellent, yeah. 13, 14. 15, I'll go right in between. So 17, 16, and 17. Okay, you're up. Great job. I'll lower the little bit for you. Yeah, I'll go a lighter weight on Okay, this again is the leg extension. It's helping helping to tighten and tone the quads or the thighs. Our goal today is to tone and shape the thighs. I love doing leg exercises. Those are my favorite. Are they? Yeah. I didn't know that. Now again, here she's using a complete range of motion. This machine's excellent because you can actually adjust it to start at different positions according to your flexibility. She's going down nice and slow, flexing on the way up, exhaling as she extends the foot. These feel good. How many is that? It's about 10. Okay, and if I want to spot her, I'm right here, but remember, this is our warm-up set. Great. 13. Fourteen. Fifteen. All right, okay. that's not good. Now, we would normally do three to four sets of this exercise first, but because we want to show you all three, we'll move on here to the leg press. Come on down. Now, it's important here that you adjust this properly. You want to make sure you have enough room to position your feet comfortably, feet shoulder width apart. Extend the leg. Keep a slight bend in the knee. Inhale, exhale as you straighten the leg. Good job. You know, if you ever, with your feet closer together, what does that do? If you, have you seen people do it with their feet? Feet close together? Yeah. Well, a good basic stance is what I'm doing here with my feet shoulder width apart. The closer you get your feet, it works your legs and your glutes at a different angle. It's a good question. And if you put your feet towards the front, right. it actually works more with the glute. But I always start off my leg workout routine with the most basic leg position first to warm up. Good job. Remember to inhale as you bring the weight in. Exhale as you extend the leg. And keep a slight bend in the knee here. Never lock out the knee. Excellent. Five more. You look like they're working your calves, too. Four. I like to tighten and flex yeah, the calf. Yeah, can see that. Top of the movement. That's great. Three. Last two. And one. Okay. You're up. You know what? Can we go lighter weight on mine? Sure. Okay, we'll take off these. Actually, you want to try it since it's a new movement without anything? Yeah, I'll okay. just try it with...
this exercise, this machine is terrific for isolating the glue, which is a very difficult area to work. It's working this area back through here. And hold just for a beat on the top of the movement, flexing the glue, flexing the thigh. It's working all over here. We'll do 10 to 15 repetitions on each leg. And we have two legs, so do both legs. <laughs> Five more. Five. Four. Really focus on the exercise and the muscle group you're working. Three more. Great. Last two. And then I'll switch to my right leg. And if you're really, really advanced on this exercise, you can shut your eyes. Do it with your eyes closed. <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> okay, so we're showing the uh, leg extension, the leg press, and now this is the glute master. Tightening and toning the buns. We're going to have the buns of steel. That's right. <laughs> Did she say that? <laughs> buns as hard as coconut. Yeah, buns as hard as coconut. <laughs> the Hawaiian version. Three more. Two. And woo, you can feel this one burn it. Last one. Good job. Hey, Rosie. You're up. My turn. You want more weight or less weight? No, actually, I think I'll hold same this. Same weight? Okay. Well, you know, I'll try the same weight. Okay. Okay, let's watch Rosie as she gets into this machine. Okay. Her foot is locked into this position, which forces her to use proper form. That's why I like this machine. It helps you to isolate the glute. It really does. Her forearms are resting right here on the pad. Proper alignment, shoulder over the elbow. Tummy resting right here. It's isolating this area right in through here. It looks great. I can feel this. It feels great. So the three machines are excellent for your entire leg, entire lower body workout. You've got the leg extension, the leg press, and the glute master. When you're training with weights and you're getting an intense workout, it's a good idea to keep your body hydrated with plenty and plenty of water. Hey, Rosie, you want some? Get some water? Uh, maybe later. <laughs> you got you want some? Here, you guys have some. After your workout, make sure and drink plenty of water to hydrate your body. I love training legs in the gym. On my leg day, sometimes I'll use all machines like I've shown you today with exercises like the leg extensions and the leg press. I'll do three to four sets of each exercise and then move on to a shaping exercise for the glutes. Tighten and tone your glutes with the Glute Master machine or on the floor with ankle weights. If you want to work out along with us at home and train your back today, you come to the right place. We're starting off here with a one-arm dumbbell raise. Reed's using perfect form. He's got one knee on the bench, supporting his weight with his other arm, and bringing the dumbbell up right next to his waist, elbow tight next to his body. Perfect. One more on the left arm, and we'll switch to the right. And Kiana, how would you spot Reed on something like this? That's a good question. If you're training with a partner, and you want to go a little heavier, or you want to make sure you max out, you want to grab right here at the dumbbell, never taking the weight away from your partner, just helping them up a little bit. I find that when I train people, they tend to stick right at the top. You want to make sure they get that extra squeeze right in through here. Feel that? It's that last little squeeze I feel, too. Right there. Right there Boom. Yeah. Perfect. Up. It's working his last. Good job. It's working actually the middle area of the back in through here and the, and the upper lat. Squeeze up. One more. And down a turn. Oh, good job. Good hey. workout. Let's see, I'll use the uh, 25 pounds. Now these are easy to do. Remember, you can do all these exercises right at home. One knee on the bench, support your weight with the opposite hand. Coming up. Chin up. Exhaling on the way up. Good form. Working the uh, center of the back and the left. You can see it really working right in here, too. Right in your back. Looks good. Good job. Nice form, Keanu. Good job. And three Good to four time. sets. <laughs> yeah. Ten more. Ten more. Heavy. Two and one. Other one. You want to give her a spot? Yeah. Remember here, you want to make sure and get a complete range of motion. Let the arms swing slightly forward and pulling up, almost like you're sawing wood. And up. There we go. Okay. Next Set. exercise. Nice Thank you. <laughs> Is the 
uh, bent over row. Basically, you grab two dumbbells, feet shoulder width apart, comfortable stance, bending over at the waist, palms facing forward, bringing the dumbbells up to your side. And what does this work here? Just for the back again. Okay. Nice straight back. Looks good, Kiana. Can you spot on this particular exercise? This one's a little difficult to spot on. That's why you want to go a little bit lighter. And up. Okay. Nice job. Now, Anita's going to demonstrate this one using the body flex, Jim. What I like about this exercise is you're doing both arms at the same time, so it, if you're pressed for time or you want to get in a quick workout, it's an excellent one to try. Nice job. Good. Looks like you're working your little bit of your arms, too. Yeah, your secondary muscle groups, you've got your triceps, your shoulders, forearm. Job Good. Good. Now, the key, whenever you're doing any kind of exercise, it's a good idea to concentrate on the muscle you're working, in this case, the back, exhaling on the way up. Really think about what you're doing. Make the most of your workout. One more. You get tired? <laughs> I am now. Okay, Reed. Okay. Reed and I are going to demonstrate the. Uh, what about the same time? Back squat. Sure, why not? Okay. Okay, the back slides are a difficult exercise. It's a great finishing movement. Basically, you want to bend over at the waist, without hitting each other, bringing the arms up and down. Up. It's a great shaping exercise. Now, this is a great, heavy. this is a good way yeah, to shave this is heavy. and give yourself back cleavage. You like that one? Back cleavage. <laughs> <laughs> Up. And hold it for a beat at the top. Good job. Okay, last one for me. Okay, at the end of every back workout, it's, it's very important to stretch. So what I want you to do is grab on the bench. Maybe you grab over here and eat or meet at the end. And stretch your back muscles slowly. Nice stretch. It's important to stretch out before, during, and after your back workout. The one-arm dumbbell rows for the back can be done right at home with a simple set of dumbbells. The dumbbells allow you to bring the weight higher as compared to a barbell row. Get the complete range of motion and keep your back flat parallel to the floor. The bent-over dumbbell rows pump each side of the back separately. This exercise can be done using free weights or the Kiana Body Flex Gym. The back flies are great for developing the back and the rear delts. It's a terrific shaping exercise, but be sure and control the weight and squeeze at the top. You won't want to miss our trouble spot segment. I'll show you the Kiana Crunch combo for your abs. Up. Keep the shoulder blades off the pad. Small little isolated crunches working right in through here on the upper part of the abs. Do you want chest like these? Well, we're going to show you how. We have three great exercises today that will help you shape, tone, and add definition to the entire chest area. And trust me, you're not going to want to miss this one. And squeeze it up. One. And up. Two. Bring the dumbbells right over the area the chest we're working. We're trying to shape the chest and get that nice division. And up. Inhale. Nice and slow. Six, seven, feels good. Eight, two more, nine, and last one. Now hold the hands up, palms facing each other, and bring it down for a fly. And up, one, nice and slow. Get the full range of motion. Stretch on the way down and up. Last one. Up. Okay, now we're going to do a press fly combination. Bring it down, dumbbells down and up, palms facing each other into a, a flat fly. There we go. Press. Nice and slow. Slow it down. Pull it for a beat at the top and back down. And up. Perfect. I like to hold the weights at the top and the bottom just for a beat. Works the muscles even harder. We're pumped up now. Let's go. 
Come on, five more. Four. Three, basically we're combining the, the uh, flat bench with the flat fly. Fly, one more, let's do one more set. Press it up, fly, Woo. okay, terrific. And let's sit up. Our next exercise is, um, helps you get a nice stretch in through the rib cage. It's called a pullover. The basic idea here is to slide your pelvis down Dumbbell over the head, overhand grip, palms up. Stretch it down nice and slow behind you. you feel the stretch nice and slow. And exhale, bringing the dumbbell up over the chest. See if you can slight bend in the elbows. Down and up. Down slow and up. The slower the better in this exercise. Feel the stretch in the rib cage and the lats and the chest and up. Sean and Bark have spotters, Anita and Rosie are helping them out. They've got a much heavier weight than I do. It's a good idea to have a training partner, just in case you need their help. Okay, we're going to finish out here with five more, and then get started again with the dumbbell press. Woo! And up. the legs, the back, the heart, and the chest, and now we work the bicep. Palms up, supinating the wrist at the top, turning that pinky in to get that extra peak at the top. Inhale, exhale on the way up. Keep the elbows tight into the waist, isolating the bicep. We'll be doing three different bicep exercises, one immediately after the other, to really burn out our biceps, pump up those arms. Notice here we're starting off with a lighter weight than we'd normally be training with. That's because we're doing a giant set or a tri-set. Supinate the wrist at the top right there. Last one. And let's move on now to the uh, hammer curl. Notice the different position of my hands. Curling it up and all the way down. Working more of the forearm. Hitting the bicep at a different angle. Working the brachialis, which you've probably seen on Jurassic Park. <laughs> Last one. Come on, Mark. Up. Good job, Sean. And now we're going to drop down and do a concentration curl to get that peak in the bicep area. Elbow on the inside of the thigh. Dropping the wrist down, curling it up, supinating the wrist at to the top. Working this area right in through here. Exhale up. Concentration curl. And up. Again, we're doing giant sets, three of the same body part. Started off with the seated alternating, the hammer curl, and now finishing up with the concentration curl. We're going to do 15 on the right arm, then 15 on the left arm. So you guys should check out the bicep over here. To add variety to your workouts, have a friend take you through their favorite leg routine. It's a fun way to learn what other people do to stay in shape. You may learn new exercises and new techniques. Look at your body realistically and choose exercises that you can most benefit from. In addition to training at the gym, working out at home is a blast. Using portable equipment like free weights, one-arm dumbbell rows combined with bent over rows and back flies are all you need for an entire back workout. You don't need to belong to an expensive gym to get a great workout in right at home. Combine weight training, a low-fat diet with cross-training, and you're on your way to total body fitness. Keep on flexing! Kiana's Flex Appeal was filmed at the beautiful Ritz-Carlton Kapalua on Maui's lush northwest shore.